Whoa! Guys, yeah. I have never been in this house before. This is the first time walking through the door. Adam has never been in this house before, and I don't even know what to say. Anyone who's been through the stressful experience of buying a house knows it can get quite costly. In moments like this, it's easy to find oneself wondering what the most expensive mansion looks like. Well, you got no longer to wonder, because today we have for you a list of the most expensive mansions in the world. All you gotta do is sit back and enjoy. 1819 Kensington Gardens Valued at $128 million, the 1819 house is located on Billionaire's Row, which happens to be found in one of London's most prestigious areas known as Kensington Gardens. This property is currently owned by Indian billionaire Lakshmi Mittal, who is the chairman and CEO of the world's largest steelmaking company called ArcelorMittal. The house was first built in the 19th century with two semi-detached houses that were later converted into a single house. It features 12 bedrooms, Turkish baths, an indoor pool, and a parking garage big enough for 20 cars located on 55,000 square feet of land. Palazzo di Amor If you thought the last mansion was expensive, then you're in for a treat. The Palazzo di Amor is valued at $195 million and, not surprisingly, is one of the most expensive homes in the world. Owned by successful real estate entrepreneur Jeff Green, this Mediterranean-style villa features 12 bedrooms, 23 bathrooms, a number of swimming pools, waterfalls, and movie theaters, as well as tennis courts and a 27-car garage. Not only that, this mansion also has a revolving dance floor and ballroom ready for any parties Green would like to host. The Ellison Estate This $200 million property is owned by the co-founder of Oracle, Larry Ellison, who also happens to be one of the richest men in the world. The 23 acres of land actually hosts 10 different properties with a tea house and a bathhouse along with a man-made lake and a koi pond. Sounds more like a holiday resort than a house, right? Considering the fact that it was modeled after a Japanese emperor's palace, it makes more sense. The property also houses some of the most expensive trees in the world like maples and oaks, cherry blossoms, and redwoods. 4. Fairfield Pond well, you can't complete a list of the most expensive mansions in the world and not talk about this $248 million house located in New York City. Owned by Ira Renner, owner of the Renault Group, a holding investment company in smelting and manufacturing, this 63-acre home consists of 29 bedrooms, 39 bathrooms, a basketball court, bowling alley, a 91-foot dining room, tennis courts, squash courts, and three swimming pools for you to take a dip in. Since the mansion is so big, powering it is not an easy task, which is why the house comes with its very own power plant located on site. Hopefully Ira is a car lover since the garage at 4 Fairfield Pond can hold about 100 of them. The Odeon Tower Penthouse So if you've got $330 million lying around your house, then you can get the Odeon Tower Penthouse for yourself. It's a 35,000 square foot apartment located at the top of one of the most expensive buildings you're gonna find in Monaco. The penthouse is sprawled across several floors, has its own private elevator so you can go in and out without having anyone know. And as if that's not enough, the penthouse also comes with a private water slide into a 360 degree view infinity pool. We'd purchase it for just that alone. Of course, nobody has that kind of money just laying around, otherwise this penthouse wouldn't be the house of our dreams, but of our reality. Le Palais Boulet Known as the Bubble Palace, Le Palais Boulet was built sometime between 1975 and 1989. The mansion gets its nickname from a series of round rooms that look out over the Mediterranean Sea, making them look like bubbles. Since the time it was built, the property has been upgraded with three swimming pools, many gardens, and a 500-seat amphitheater built into the hillside grounds. All this for a cool $390 million only. The palace is currently owned by an Italian-born French fashion designer known as Pierre Cardin, who uses it as a holiday home mainly and for some parties and events. For example, when Dior used it as a spectacular venue for its indoor-outdoor fashion show where it showed its cruise collection. So that's a wrap on the most expensive mansions in the world. Would you like to live in any of these places? Yeah, let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. We'll see you in the next one.